Okay, so let me tell you guys a little bit about the second part of this recipe. So this is um, written like this mostly because we would be making it in school. So the first direction says to preheat the oven to 200 degrees Fahrenheit. That's because after we shape our danishes, we have to let them rise for a little bit. Um, and usually we don't have time to wait an hour after you guys shape your danishes um, before you can actually bake them. We just don't have time with, you know, the 70 minute classes. So if you are making this at home, you don't need to do that step unless you want to um, make them rise quicker. Um, you can just, you know, skip that step let them after you shape them and stuff you can let them rise uh for about an hour until they're doubled in size and then you can con continue on so i'm going to show you guys how to um how to portion the dough how to roll it out how to shape the danishes and all the rest that's included in that okay so i cut my dough into fourths and now i'm going to roll it into a rectangle so you want it to be about 18 um, inches long and about four inches wide and then you're going to take each um, rolled out strip and you're going to cut it into one inch strips so i'll show you guys how to do that so this dough is nice and cold which is going to help to keep it from sticking to the counter um, but if you're having trouble with that you can just throw some flour down So you can get either a nice sharp knife or you can use a pizza cutter. I'm just gonna take this and cut it. So each danish is going to take two strips. So I'm going to take my two strips and I'm going to attach them together at the top. Just kind of press them together. And then you are just going to kind of almost braid them together. Just like that. Uh, then you attach them together at the bottom. And then you're going to take them and roll it together into a circle. And that's it. You could even take three and roll them together if you wanted to. So we'll try that next. And like I said, it's pretty sticky, so be careful. Just make sure you press them together. And then we are gonna set them off to the side and let them rise for about an hour. Uh, make sure you cover them with some plastic wrap just to keep things out for in the air from landing on them. And then you're going to go ahead and you're gonna bake them at 350 for about 14 to 16 minutes. Um, oh, I'm sorry, I forgot one thing. Before you bake them, you're gonna press a hole into the center and you're gonna put some of your filling in there, which I can show you guys in a little bit. And then you're gonna bake them, not for very long, and then you take them out and you put some icing on them and that's it. Okay, so um, I'm gonna show you guys how to finish off your danishes before you put them in the oven. Um, I actually did the trick where you turn the oven on at 200 and then turn it off and then put the danishes in so they can rise quickly. So this is what they look like now. They've risen quite a bit. They're pretty fat. Um, so what I'm gonna do is I am going, you can either use two fingers or you can use like the back of a spoon or something. I'm just gonna make an indentation right in the middle where I can fill it with my filling. So I've chosen to use um, apple pie filling and I didn't actually didn't have any at home so I just made some. but. If you want to go buy the filling, it's in um, the baking aisle, like where they sell the flour and the sugar and everything in the grocery store. Usually it's somewhere near the jello or the pudding, stuff like that. And it comes in a can and it will say that it's pie filling. And they sell different kinds, like um, there's apple, cherry, 
blueberry, um, strawberry, peach. There's all kinds of stuff. So you can just pick whatever looks good to you. Another thing that people fill danishes with is a cream cheese filling. And if you just type in like cream cheese danish filling in Google, you'll find a recipe for it. It's just cream cheese and sugar and stuff. Okay. So anyway, let me show you this. I'm just going to use the back of my cookie scoop here. I'm just going to make an indent right there. These don't take a ton of filling. Um, and you guys can kind of see like the air go out of it when I do that. So some of them are bigger than the other ones. So those would take more filling. All right, and then I have my filling, my pie filling over here. It's going to go right in there. Um, and then when these, when I'm done filling them, they're going to go into the oven for at 350 for about 14 to 16 minutes until they start to get golden brown. And you can tell that they're um, kind of done cooking. So you'll be able to see they don't take long because they're not very big. And then there's a um, there's an icing that you're going to put over top of them. And that's included in the recipe. It's really simple to make. It's just some butter, some powdered sugar, some vanilla, and a little bit of half and half, or you could even use milk if you don't have half and half. So some people end up getting their um, danishes end up coming apart, like the dough comes apart in the middle. So if that happens, you'd kind of just work it back together with your fingers. You don't want to have a hole where you put the filling because then it will just come out of the bottom when you pick it up. So these you can see they're still, it's still all together. There is no opening in there. Okay, so that is how you make danishes. Um, there are other recipes, like I said, that take longer, but this is a quick one. So um, again, if you guys have questions, just email me or um, we can get together when school starts back up in person and I will answer any questions that you guys have. Okay, good luck.